Hi, this is Matt with QuickRegister.net, and today I'm going to talk about how to confirm your emails with Backpage Easy Ad Submitter. Uh, Backpage Easy Ad Submitter will not only post your ads, but it will click the confirmation links uh, for you so you don't have to do the tedious task yourself. There are just a few things you have to do to be able to allow the software to go into your email account and click the links, and it uh, differs for uh, different services. One of the most popular services is Gmail, of course. And one thing that kind of throws people is that you have to allow what they call less secure apps uh, in your uh, Gmail account before any software is going to have access to it, ours or someone else. Um, so you have to allow our software to have access. So in Gmail and for different uh, accounts, uh, whether it's Outlook or GMX, whatever, it's a slightly different process. But for Gmail, you have to allow less secure apps. And it's very simple. You just have to click, click a button. So to, in order to allow less secure apps, all you do is you have to log into your Gmail account. Okay. You have to be logged in. And then the easiest way to find this link is just to go Google enable less secure apps in Gmail. And here we go. You click here. This is all in the manual too, by the way. Okay. The link and everything, but just so you know, and then you go right here to the less secure apps section. And it's this URL you could hear, see it up here. All right. And you go, turn off, turn on. There you go. That's it. You just got to click a button. If you don't do it, it won't work. All right. Because you have to grant access to your Gmail account and you can turn it off anytime you want, but you're just uh, allowing the software to uh, do what you want it to do. Go in and click your emails. If it can't go in and click your, it doesn't have access. It can't go in and click your emails. It's that simple. So, uh, Hey, I'll just do it again for you. Google how to enable insecure apps with a Gmail. Click the first link. Go down here. Click the less secure apps section right here. And click turn on access for less secure apps. Okay, now once you do this, then you go to your Gmail account and you'll see you'll get a little notice from Google access for less secure apps has been turned on so there you go okay there's one more thing you need to do in gmail all right um now that you've had access for less secure apps turned on this is only uh, if you're using gmail to uh, post your ads um, now you go to the gears here you're going to go down click settings and forwarding and pop and you need to enable uh, POP, okay? I've done it already, but you just click this button and you enable POP, save changes. And now you can, uh, your, your, the software will have access to your email account to confirm the links for you. If you don't do those steps, it just doesn't have access, so it won't work. Okay, um, I'm gonna go, you go to settings, go to the little gearbox, settings and forwarding and POP IMAP and enable POP and that's it all right now that we have enabled POP access and that we have enabled less secure apps uh, in Gmail I showed you that very simple process we just need to put the proper <coughs> information in the software okay and First thing you have is time to wait in between confirmations. If you just want to take your time, you could put, you know, 10 seconds in between confirmations, or if you want to do it a little faster, you put it two seconds. This is a, um, controls how fast the software will actually confirm the ads. Okay. So I just put a two in here. Now under email, you have to put your email address. Okay. And I put my Gmail address here. And then for the password, you need the password for the email account because you're going to be accessing that email account in order to confirm, go in and have the software confirm the links for you. Okay. If you're going to have someone, uh, click the links for you, you got to give them access to the account. And so you will give, uh, we've done that already on one end, but we have to put the password for the, for the Gmail account. Okay. In here. Um, now this is the incoming mail server for Gmail. It is pop.gmail.com. That's just what it is. Uh, you could Google that, you know, what is the incoming mail server of Gmail? And that's what it is. Okay. Just so you know, that's also in the manual. Then 
you the port incoming mail for Gmail. All I have to know is that's 995. Okay. And that's it. You can use proxies if you want. I'm not going to get into that. That's completely uh, um, optional. So you just have to put the information for the Gmail account. You basically enable the Gmail account uh, to be uh, accessible by the software. And I showed you how to do that. And then you just put in the credentials and then you click run. Now what's going to happen is it may take a few minutes for uh, the software to get all the emails. Now, here we go. This was relatively quick and it's going to click the links. It's clicking the links as we go. Okay. It did it right away. What the software does, it downloads the, all the emails and then goes and clicks the links once they're downloaded and that's it. And it'll just go uh, from link to link uh, clicking. We only had a couple in there, so it didn't take long, but if you have lots of emails, it may take a little while a few minutes to download all the emails. But as you see, the software is confirming the links directly from the Gmail account. Uh, uh, so you don't have to do it. Um, hey, and that's it. Uh, just be patient. If you have lots of emails, it takes a little while to download them all, but it'll, it'll kick in. You'll see as it is now. And we'll just, uh, I'm not doing anything and it's just confirming all the links for me. Um, there we go. A lot of these are, are confirmed already, but I'm just showing you, uh, this is a test in any case. Uh, so you'll see that the software does work and it is confirming emails from Gmail. All right. Uh, if you're interested in the software, yeah, if you haven't gotten yet, yet, uh, our software posts ads to back page on autopilot. And as you see, confirms the links for you. So all you have to do is click the link in the description below and you can learn more. Thank you so much. This is Matt from quickregister.net marketing software.